Hi there, this is an extremely interesting video about how to install and extract circlips. The reason I'm doing this video is because somebody installed infuriatingly a circlip the wrong way on my horizontal bandsaw. When I was trying to fix it, it really frustrated me. Now what we have here is a circlip. I think you'll agree. Try and get to focus onto it. And when they're cut, I don't know if you can see in there, they're cut and there's like a chamfer. You see the chamfer's going that way and that way. So on this blade it's going that way and on that way it's going that way. The same chamfer will be inside the holes as well. And what that does is, when you put your circlip pliers into it, which I can do this on the camera, when you put your circlip pliers into it, if you put them in this way, the chamfer is forcing the clip onto your pliers. Now if you put it on the other way, it's forcing it off the pliers. So when you, I'm not going to let go of the clip, when you uh, force onto the clip now, the pliers are in quite deep at the moment and they're not really going to come off. But when it's on the part, the, the pliers can only go in that deep and they are more likely to slip off. Now this one came off straight away, no problem. Once I got it off, the clip had gone to something like about there, like it should do. It started off, you know, flush with the top, because that's how the thing is built. Let me show you. So this is for my power hacksaw, and I'm having trouble getting this clip off. So I put the circlip pliers in, and you can see that, and I press. Now you think you've got it now, but as soon as I'm coming to come off, it was slipping off. Like that, okay? That should not happen if the clip is installed properly. Let's see if it is or not. Sometimes you can get your pliers in there. I don't know. So we'll try again. No, it's just coming straight off. And it's not that these are cheap pliers. These are Facon pliers. You know, these are like £20 each. These are good pliers. And they're still in good nick. But there we go. That's circlips for you. Always install them the right way. So you saw the video and you heard me mumbling. Here's a picture showing you how a circlip is made because I didn't really get it in the video very well. The top picture it shows you a top down view of the circlip, two holes in it, it's an external circlip. You can use two types of pliers. You saw the one type of plier I got in the video uh, was the round nosed type. And they fit into the round holes. And there is a flat type of circlip plier which you can use in the gap on this type. If it's an external one, uh, sorry, an internal one, you can you can use them on those as well. But that's another story. The bottom part of the picture is the circlip laying down flat on the surface, and then you look in across the surface at it. I suppose that's a good way of explaining it and I've whited out the bit in the center which would be black because the whole circlip would be black but I've whited it out to highlight the gap and now it's chamfered it's chamfered on purpose and that is to help you install and extract the circlip if you put it in the wrong way you can install it really easily as long as it doesn't flick off your pliers as you're taking it towards the part which sometimes happens but generally, if you get it to the part, it installs really easily. Uh, but when you come to extract it, it's nigh on impossible without damaging the circlip and having to replace it, which you don't have to do it as a reusable item. So if you put it on the right way, the circlip will be drawn onto the pliers and be held solid as long as you hold a bit of tension on there. When you get it 
over the part or into the part you may have to use another tool to push it further towards its recess and then let the tension off but that you know is a little problem that isn't a problem really just use a second tool so install your circlips correctly you will be able to extract them extremely easy and we'll have no more problems stop spreading crap on youtube about how to how you can install a circlip both ways you cannot install it both ways it has to be installed the correct way there is only one way <laughs> there's a 50 50 chance if you don't know and you could get it right many times you know 50 percent of the time but if you know a circlip works just hold it up to the light see which way the chamfer is orient it the right way on your pliers it may be a little bit more difficult to install but you can use a second tool to help push it away from your pliers when you come to extract it it is so easy it's unbelievable